All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new series. As I kind of announced yesterday, I said that there was going to be a new series around the corner. And yes, it is here. Finally, some of you guys have been requesting this, but I finally croaked and got myself F1 Manager 23. Mainly because also when the game first releases, the game isn't going to be the greatest. There's this grace period where they still release updates and patches, for example, team changes. So if you get fired, you can get hired somewhere else. That got added recently. So yeah, all the functions don't really come out at release day. So I usually wait a bit, so usually, but uh, with the cases of F1 games, I usually try to get it as soon as it releases. But let's start a new career Formula and one, it is time the pinnacle of to go in. With a global wow. audience and drama to match, all the attention is now on race circuits intro. around the world, waiting for the start of the fastest show on earth. Last year's regulation changes saw closer on-track battles. Anyone expecting a smooth ride from the 2023 season Ooh, is in for a shock. With a shake-up in the paddock, resulting in the signing of several new team principals, F1 is primed and ready to light up the world stage. Team principals will already be talking tactics, boosting the confidence of their drivers, and ensuring their pit crews make those box times as tight as possible. Nice. With a new era of racing now well underway, more teams than ever will be vying for points, podiums, and a chance at the championship. This yes. is Formula One. Let's get it. Time to cook. All right, then. We are Ready given all of these options here, of course, the top 10 teams on the grid. Now, one of the teams that I think um, is underrated or underappreciated is Alfa Romeo. I mean, they've been struggling this season and have been flying under the radar. Why does Valtteri Bottas look like the hunchback of Notre Dame in this? Um, but yeah, no one really talks about Alfa Romeo recently. It's mainly because they have lackluster performance, right? Lackluster results that resulted with them not getting as many points. If you look at the tally of points, Valtteri Bottas has scored less points, fewer points than he did last season. So it kind of shows that Alfa Romeo need a little help and I think they need a little divine intervention aka from me um, so let's take a look at the team performance car performance should be the back of the grid 10 out of 10 uh, headquarters quality is 9 out of 10 staff performance 9 out of 10 driver power is 6 out of 10 oh that does not look good Miguel Baltazar is the reserve driver Valtteri Bottas car 1 and Zhou Guan Yu car 2 technical chief is Jean Monchot much uh, i'm not sure how to pronounce this well that's our team that we're going to inherit as we go in so essentially they were sauber f1 and now they're alfa romeo sauber um f1 team so target is seventh in the season objective and then long-term objective is podium contender we have a low bounce all right this sounds like a challenge for me um continue and oh i have to name myself and we are kind of an experienced manager but I don't know what this means. Is there further notice about this? Because we've played the uh, past game to pretty good measure. So let's start this. Oh, guidance. Wait, cancel. Let me just go to returning manager, perhaps. Um, new updates. Yeah, we need to know the new updates. Because I know a couple things like tire temperature is important. So I need to figure out how to manage tire temperatures and then i think some of the pit crew training Hi, facilities are I'm different audrey, okay audrey all right whatever we're just gonna continue straight on um audrey just gave us a small intro sure first day at the office sponsor obligations that's fine i think we have no input on that i think that's already decided for us last season or in the previous season where we were not in charge all right so let us take a look at the car analysis first. Always want to check the car analysis considering our car needs to look good. Uh, we need to prioritize medium speed. Low speed is also of interest, but not as high. Um, car performance, just general performance. Seems like we are very far behind. Ugh, this is going to be difficult. Oh no, this is not looking good for the car. All right, this is a big 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 challenge on our hands car part development design and research let us design something because i think we have wind tunnel time right now uh because it is before the Bahrain grand prix in 11 days okay so we need something that comes in quickly and the one thing that is going to take a while so maybe we can go for um 
front wing upgrades look nice but i do want to also work on cooling because cooling seems to be important from the last game not quite sure if it's still the same today but um we might want to do a little suspension upgrade because that hits quite a few of the boxes that we need to consider as important so let's just spend half the time so like 2.4 ish nah even more um 2.8 ish when tunnel hours we'll put 30 you know, almost 40 and oh excuse me that went a little too far okay aerodynamic car parts each designing all right, so let's see. We can increase all of this for a little boost, I think. And then lifespan. This is new. Durability of the part. It's going to go 2,875 kilometers. Um, maybe we can... Oh, it's going to add weight for durability. Oh, dear. Okay, let's just go middle of the road for the first one. Let's just see how this works out for us. Because the car weight is going to be a problem. Uh, we don't want to be too heavy. Um, engineers, we want to put half the team on this one. Approach intense is going to increase the days, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's going to be the same as normal, so I don't think it's going to be too... Ah, it's a cost difference. Cost cap is pretty high, though, so I'm not too worried. How's our cash doing? 16 mil. Okay. Um... Put extra hours to optimize the design. The cost will be higher, but you will gain a greater car part expertise bonus, which will improve the future designs. Yeah, let's go intense with the suspension. Might be worth it. Let's invest 3.9 mil. And let's design another car part, which is the chassis. I'd like a new chassis. I think chassis is going to be an important one as well. Really double down on some of these upgrades. All right looks good let's go normal with the chassis design it'll cost us 700k which is nice so let's do that and i think we're good otherwise uh we need to look at the facilities facilities is very important we need more money so let me see what gives us money i think the helipad is um okay sponsorship target and team attractiveness goes up uh weather center is also important let's do that weather center is going to be very important for our team team attractiveness goes up by 10 percent. let's do that weather center is important for strategy that's what i was trying to get at team attractiveness race confidence gain boardroom weekly income increases let's go i need that memorabilia room attractiveness and morale okay well that's fine we have 10 mil in the bank can we invest that in a new factory we could um design center it's too expensive we just went past 10 mil or 11 mil excuse me wind tunnel is going to be important cfd simulator i think we saved this money for now i think we want to invest in one of these maybe or do i want design Nah, i can't factory is not really good because it's project capacity to development speed is plus two percent that's not really important at this time we need more of this um effect on the car um upgrade okay home improvements build an upgrade to the facility we got a helipad fantastic uh let me see can we upgrade this even further helipad bring yeah brings things up a little further so let's add a little more the running joke of f1 20 manager 23 is um the helipad needs to be at top tip shape um okay we're good on that elizabeth voigt says sponsor obligations go to sponsor obligations driver appearance okay that's fine we're gonna get some money there's no way i can influence that so there's no real need to look at it 2023 season sure that's the start of a new season and then helipad construction complete that's good uh we just continue straight on okay miguel baltazar is now higher rated oh before we go or continue drivers we can okay yeah development yep yeah, that's what i was trying to hit okay you can do so here. Hmm. development focus and okay driving standards uh pace long run short runs race strategy wet track and wheel to wheel um 
Let's go with long runs for now. Development rate is low because he is pretty old, I think. 33. Facility bonuses. Oh, I need to find some facility bonuses. Contract. He's on for three more years. That's his career stats. What about Joe? Let's look at him. Development rate is average. Let's get him on... Yeah, probably long runs as well, because we could do with some cornering smoothness and adaptability upgrades. Now, Miguel, let me see. He just needs everything. Let's go with driving standards first. Control and overtaking and defense. Yeah, that looks fine. And then testing results. Oh, everything's red. It's not great. Look at that. 19th. Yeah, we're at back of the grid. We need those upgrades to come quick. Um... Let me just see, did I complete the helipad? No, it's still in the works. Tour center is also in the works. Let's continue. All right, so here's my pit crew standings. Uh, they're tired. They're quite fatigued, apparently, 36%. Chance of mistake has gone up by 0.02%, so it's now at 14.32%. Estimated pit stop time is 2.733 seconds. And the car building is at 2.43, or plus 2.43, bringing it up to 60. Um, I think we rest them for Bahrain. Try to bring this up to here, apparently. We'll be bright and ready. Uh, and then we'll get some more drills going. Uh, we could change this to, say, like gym training, pit stop drill, etc. Car building. Let's go to car building. And then afternoon gym training, maybe. Yeah, that looks fine. Pit stop drill. We'll give them a bit of rest in the morning to build it up. Gym training in the afternoon. Yeah, this I can deal with later in the next episode maybe. Oh. Cancel. Oh, confirm changes. Yes. Confirm. Um. Oh, I don't know if I can change that anymore. Hold on. Oh, I can. I can edit it again. That's no big deal. No big deal. Okay, tour center's in. So that is a plus. We could get some more weekly income with a little investment. There we go. And then let's go to car development. I think the design center. Wind tunnel. Maybe we invest in the wind tunnel with 10 mil. We do need some cash, remember, to build our newly upgraded items for the next episode. But we'll invest in the wind tunnel for now. Uh, tour center complete. Good. And here we go. Season starts. Um, reach Q3. Impossible. I'm not doing that. Oh, that's already a given target or something, I guess. Oh, wait. Edit. Okay. We cannot reach this. Um, uh, we'll try one driver for P14. It's not really ideal or it's not really in our interest at this time. But we'll try. Who knows what happens. And we're not going to guarantee anything just yet. We're back at the grid right now. You know what? Let's go safe for episode one here. We're just doing this. Basic guarantees for the weekend. And let's go. Inbox, Bahrain. Yep, let's go. All right, our cars go out for the first time. Let's go. The new UI looks nice. Or the new uh, look is nice. Let's see. Our current time... On the hards is a 138.9. 139.1. It's a little on the slow side, but we're running hards. I think everyone else is. Oh, P uh, Perez is running hards as well. Hmm. Okay. Things are going to get interesting for sure. Oh no! Mamma mia! Sure what what is happening here? Joe, what like you do? Ah, oh, hit him. I mean, that's wing damage. Gross. Might be some chassis damage as well. <sighs> Mamma mia. Um, we need to bring him in. Call Karin. Let's take a look at the damage here. It's chassis and front wing. You're kidding. Penalty for causing a collision. Who got it? Is there... Logan Sargent. Okay, that's good. P P2. Wow, on the sauce. Well, Logan has a penalty. Let's reconfigure. Oh, great and good. 
Okay, that looks good. I appreciate that. That, that is very good. Tires, uh, let's find car parts. We need new one. Replace. To my parts content, it's a objective to swap out parts apparently. Okay, chassis should be automatically done, I think. So let's confirm. Let's wait for Valtteri Bottas to complete his laps here. Oh, hold on, hold on. Multiple cars crash. It's a VSC. Oi, what happened here? Oh no, don't tell me Bottas got involved. Okay, good. It's no. Oh, that was nice. It's identical crash again. In the same corner, or not really identical, but same corner. Different type of crash, but still. That was close. Uh, Joe completed his laps, thankfully. Oh, Sergeant's out. Tape. Having a horrible day here, to man. Yes, Valtteri Bottas has 100% car setup. There we go. That is the golden setup for this guy. All right, then. By the end of FP3, we have Max Verstappen at the top and Valtteri Bottas P2, man. I told him to push on everything, full tires, full fuel, and full ERS. And that's what we got, a 134.1. Now, granted, all these other cars have not put in, you know quality lap times or qualifying lap times so yeah um, i'm expecting to not be here but i think it might be a competitive lap time we'll see uh Zhou Guan Yu, full beans was p12 on everything so his uh set of confidence isn't as high as botas so that might be the difference here uh sergeant on a penalty and okon on a five second time penalty i think there was an incident at p2 for okon so that is what's appearing there. So satisfaction, 100%. Track acclimatization, 100%. And 80% car knowledge, 80% for Joe. 86% track acclimatization, which will go up as the weekend continues. And then setup, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, confidence is looking high. 94% for Bota, 60% for Joe. So Joe's going to struggle on track, I believe. So that is going to be a worry. We're heading into qualifying, of course. Uh, but let me just quickly check on Joe's car setup. He has great on two of them for braking stability and traction, which is expected. I feel like this is the only great I can get. This was optimal, I think, and this is optimal. Um, but maybe adjusting this a little bit may give us maybe a couple more percentage points, maybe. I don't know. We'll just do that. Um, and without further ado, we got fresh softs for him. Uh, I think the plan was do not do cooldowns and just do two flying laps or something. I'm not sure. We might add one additional lap of fuel just to push again. Because I heard that tire warm-up is the most important part of this whole qualifying session. So I have to take part in it. I have to manage it. I can't let the AI just do it on its own. Um, so yeah, let's head on in then. This is going to get interesting. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, there are a couple things you can do to support the channel. First off, press that like button and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. All right, Botas with a relatively clean lap here. Joe has Pettis to negotiate pass, which is going to be a little bit of a problem. In the way, bro. Get out of the way. Okay, well, Bottas goes 133.3, which is pretty good. A full second behind as Zhou Guan Yu gets stuck behind Perez, I believe. So that's a shame. Um, but I think still a decent time. We can find a little bit more. Oh, God, I got to tell them to chill out on the tires, bro. Standard, balanced, and harvest, please. And we're going to bring these guys in. Hold on. Uh, oh, he's already coming in. Okay, good. Zhou, can we chill, please, on the tires? Okay, we'll bring them both in. Let's see, Joe, do you improve? No, not as much. Okay, uh-oh. This is not good. Just look after your tires. Joe is P17 after another okay. clear lap, but this was on the used set of tires. Uh, maybe we'll put uh, Bottas on a new set. Let's do it. Let's put him on a new set. He's still in the pits. He's P13 right now, P14. Here we go then. Valtteri can complete this lap, but he didn't need to. Let's see if he improves on it, because I think he is, uh, he's only gone yellow sector 1 and 2. He does not improve in the end, but it's P15, so he's through to Q2, which is nice. Joe unable to continue, so that's unfortunate. Um, 
But yeah, this is good. At least one driver made into Q2, beyond all doubt. Okay, so Piastri is at the back of the grid. DeVries, Sargent, and Albon also out alongside Joe. Of course, penalty coming for Sargent, so maybe Joe will gain a position. Ocon also on a penalty, so let's hope we are in his vicinity so that we can gain another position. But Bottas through to another round of qualifying. Let's use the tires we just used. And this time, I'm just not going to give him an additional lap of fuel. Yeah, I think we're good on this one set. We should be fine. All right, let's go. Well, here comes Valtteri Bottas to complete his first lap of Q2 on that used set of softs that we used a bit in Q1. Goes 133.1. Not bad at all. Let's conserve and conserve fuel okay, on the Valtteri, end lap here. He's going to come in. All right, let's see. Checkered flag has flown. Do we improve? No, we do not. Not as much as we wanted to. We're out. At least Alcon is just ahead of us by two positions. He's going to take a five position grid penalty or something, I think. So we'll be gaining a position to P12. Not bad for our first race. Considering we were expected like P19, P20. So I will take that with Valtteri Bottas. 11th is Alcon, who's on a penalty. Gasly, Bottas, Sonoda, and Norris. So that is good. Let's see what we can do with these two cars. Time for the race. Let's see. Strategy time. Time to get the strategy right. So they're saying a two-stop. Plan A. What about plan B? Estimated race time is going to be slower though. That's interesting. So they want us to do maybe half and half. Half on the mediums, half on the hards in order for this strat to work. But wait, cancel. Let's update strat C. Um, strat B is going to be... A one stop or two stop, excuse me. Yeah, this looks good. We might do a two stopper with the mediums in the uh, as the two primary tires. This is a 131.15, 131.15. This is a 131.21. Okay, so it's gonna be a little slower, but we can always adjust the strategy, right? So we can do medium, medium, have that prepared essentially, and get ourselves going. So yeah. That is 131.19. Sure, let's do it. I'm going to overfuel the car a little bit by three or so laps, as we always did in the previous game as well, mainly because we want to push a lot. I'm going to use a lot of fuel. Um, race mode at the start is going to be absolute full beans so that we can get a nice start. And I hear the AI is going to push in the first five laps. So we'll see how what we do here. Let's start this race. Let's see if the Sue Masterclass is still in the works in F1 Manager. Let's see. This is going to get exciting. Lights out. Let's go. And away we go. Pole is Carlos Sainz with Alonso P2. Perez and Verstappen P3 and P4. Interesting. Of course, the new visor cam. Oh, hold on. There's this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill. I know this much. High take. Always defend. Let's go high. And always defend at the start. Perhaps that'll give us a couple positions here. Let's see. Botas. Botas, we know you got this. All right. It's a decent start. We want to stay in the DRS of the cars ahead. Maybe we'll drop our tire usage a little bit though, because I don't want to burn out the tires unnecessarily. Never mind, we gotta burn out the tires necessarily because we want to be in that DRS range. Oh, yellow flag already. Yellow flag, yellow flag. What's going on? Never mind. Yellow flag. Stroll locked up into turn 13. That's fine. Didn't ask. Daddy's cash. Um, wow, look at the pace of Gasly. We are sinking. Just like in the driver career mode series, man. We are sinking. Alright, well, Botash. Let's see what you can do. Alright, tires are starting to overheat. Let's bring them down here. Yeah, we are sinking. This is not a good gap. We don't want that gap, but there's nothing I can do here. I'm giving them ERS. I'm giving them fuel. I tried to give them tires, but they're overheating now, so that's not going to be ideal. Um, Joe's up a position though ahead of Stroll who locked up right so that's a plus otherwise we are not doing too well let's go overtake aggression now to medium considering we're not going to be overtaking as much let's take a look at Joe no 
Oh, battery's oh, out. All right, let's. We got. Yeah, yeah. Chill, chill, chill. It was a mistake using that. Okay, we're gonna charge both batteries here. Charge. Copy that. We're gonna lose that here on DRS for sure. Gasly's ahead. Oh no, Sunoda. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm still stuck in last year's um, allotment of drivers. Uh oh. Think we need to push a bit. Oh no, we're losing time. Come on, go full beans. We want that DRS. Stay in that DRS zone. Damn, they push hard, don't they? Alright, we gotta stay standard. We need to save our tires a little. I'm gonna go light on the tires now. Ah, Joe's losing position to Sergeant as well. But we got DRS down this straight. We wanna stay in DRSs as long as possible. We wanna use that DRS to our advantage. Because these guys are pushing like full beans, so we don't want to burn out the tires early doors. We just want DRS. We can we can concede positions here, I think. That's totally fine. Okay, time to push now. Lap 5. It's time to push now, Joe. Let's see what you've got. We're down to P13 with Bottas. P19 for Joe. DRS train forming right behind Bottas, but I'm hoping to close in. On the cars ahead, using a little bit of tires. Maybe we'll go aggressive, not to attack, because it looks like they're in overheating temp or overheating zones. But yeah, for now we just want to keep this kind of similar pace going. What's my pace? 142, 141.3 with a push. 139.7 for Ocon. 141.2 for Albon. Okay. So we want to stay close to Albon then. Let's use Albon as our pace keeper. Oh, is this going to be a move on the Williams? Nah, slowing down at the corner. Unlucky. Albon's losing out on DRS to Norris. So this might be a chance here. Let's build something up. We're nearing our pit window. So I think I can still push. Tire wear is not that bad around here. But the problem is overheating tires. So we really want to push on the tires. But we can't really do that due to overheating issues so I don't know should we change to one stop I don't know I think I want to stay on the two stop considering we want to continue to push I think we're gonna have a better time on the mediums considering the mediums can take heat better than the softs of course these guys will overheat quite easily but the mediums will actually do well so let's see let's try and pit windows open yes I know it's lap 16 when we want to come in we're trying to stay close to these guys and pull away from De Vries, which we're doing nicely right now. So let's harvest a bit of ERS down this straight. We don't want to overtake just yet. We're going to take it easy on the tires a little bit. Don't burn them out too much. All right. Joe can start deploying and try to push on Stroll. He has been struggling a bit. So we're going to go full He's beans with Joe. He'll probably catch up then. But come on. Botas, I have some high hopes for. Oh my god, he's out of DRS range already. Gotta push again. I was hoping not to push, but it seems like it's necessary. Because look at that, he is far off the pace. Suddenly. Like, he loses so much time out of corners all of a sudden, which is kind of odd. Not quite sure why that happens. Alright, let's bring him back down to Harvest. Okay, let's see. We're going to go full beans until lap 16, of course. And then Joe's going to pit lap 17. Joe is closing in on Stroll, which is a plus sign. All right, then. Bottas is coming in for his first stop. It's a two-stop race for us. So let's see. Here he comes. Please tell me we've got a good pit stop. Get me a good pit crew. 2.7 is our average right now. 2.78. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. That was a solid pit stop. Joe's pushing for one more lap. He's going to pit next lap. All right, Bottas is now... How? Is someone already... Oh, Alonso did a pit stop already. All right, interesting. All right, then. Let's push again. Time to push. We need to go attack to heat up these tires. They're in the cold zone. All right, Joe had a 2.76. Solid from him as well. Back of the grid now. 
Okay, so let's go neutral with Bottas. Prepare for overtakes. Look at that. Tires are doing okay with the push mode on. Let's deploy and try to push Bottas closer to the guys ahead. Ooh, car crash. Hold on. There's been a crash. It's yellow flag. Hold on. Let's go down to standard push on the tires here. Hamilton, five second time penalty. Interesting. Totally sure what's happened. Okay. Seems to be Paris, Interesting. Though. Oh, Perez and Hamilton. Hamilton and the second Red Bull seat collide again. That's cute. Oh my god, that's a huge crash. Jeez Louise. That is massive. Unbelievable. Ooh, multiple cars crashed. What is this? Did Joe get involved? I think he did. Because he just swore on the radio. Ooh. Tight. That was a pinch and a half. Is that a penalty for us? Ah, it is. Shame. Shame. There is another risky strat, I'm thinking. Could we see this out? I think we could. I think we could. Let's see. All right, we're pitting Joe for one additional time. And I think Bottas is going to be a sinking ship. Um, yeah, this is not working out. Uh, we're going to pit him for fresher softs this lap. There goes Joe, 7.76, not bad. Car is very slow. It's draggy down the straights, and we can tell. So we really need to find a way to get those upgrades soon. The chassis and the suspension upgrades may help us. And let's start pushing with Joe then. Oh, he is going too fast. Let's see where Joe is. 6% battery. Let's just see what he can do here. All right, well, that's it then. We're coming to the end. Last lap. And we should be done here as they cross the line for the finish line. Verstappen wins ahead of Perez, but we beat Lewis Hamilton. What do you know? Look at that. We're goaded. We're a goaded team. We beat the greatest of all time, according to some people. Look at that. We're a better team. Bottas is better than Hamilton confirmed. Let's go. <laughs> Although Hamilton probably has some damage from that crash, but it is what it is. It says so on the timesheet. We'll take that dub. But yeah, the car is slow. It's draggy. We struggled with strategy a little bit. It's not the greatest of strats. I had to take a risk there to see if we could get a couple more positions, but it just wasn't meant to be. Um, yeah, that's going to be upsetting for the drivers for sure. But uh, some positives. Um, did set some impressive lap times here. 135, 746, 7, or 135, 477 for Zhou Guan Yu. He did have, find some pace at the end. Uh, we do have one lap pace, but not continuous round after round after round pace. So the long run pace is struggling a lot in this car. So, uh, yeah, first race of the season, Max Verstappen takes max, or no, just 25 points, not the maximum. Um, we see ourselves in P18 ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Stop the count. We are go to team. And uh, yeah, we're back of the grid right now with not that many points or no points at all and no real positions gained. Uh, we had 2.7, so yeah, our pit stops are not as good. Um, yeah, these points don't matter really, I think, but yeah. Yeah, it's a struggle, but second in practice, qualifying 13th, race 18th, practice 12th, qualifying 19th, and race 20th. Not the greatest of results. Joe also locked up a bit, so yeah, that's also part of the issue. Sponsorship bonus of 2.2 mil. I'll take that, though. It'll help us improve the car for the next couple rounds, so we'll invest this in the team and invest it in the car. Let's go.